Hey YouTubers, welcome to Southwest Desert Farming. I'm Michael and Stacy's off doing something else. Uh, been crawling around in the attic, but uh, uh, what I want to talk to you today about is uh, getting something set up for safe freezer or refrigerator uh, additions to your homestead. Uh, one of the things that you do need to worry about when you are gathering plenty of food and having a good store is uh, making sure that you have enough freezers and refrigerators to cover all your needs. Um, for us, we ended up getting two small chest freezers because of the way we do things. We don't always have them full, so we can always unplug one and use it later. Uh, we have since purchased a second used refrigerator because we found refrigerator space is definitely something that we need as well. So one of the things that you have to consider when you start adding appliances is you need to have them plugged in safely uh, because if you overload that outlet, uh, it's not just a fire hazard, but uh, if it trips a breaker and you're not home and you ruin all that stuff that you've worked hard for uh, to store up, uh, you're going to be very upset when you get home and all that stuff is ruined. So uh, I'm going to show you something here that I'm doing. Uh, uh, quick disclaimer, uh, I have taken some electric courses for homeowner uh, elect electric installation. Uh, I was tested through the state, so I have that knowledge uh, of doing things according to code and making sure that it is what the state requires. Anyways, uh, if you cannot do that in your state, uh, make sure that you either get a, a, a licensed electrician or you do what it takes to make sure that that is done to code because uh, you do not want to overload your panel. Uh, the worst case scenario, it causes a fire, kills somebody because uh, electricity is dangerous. And I'll show you what I ended up doing. I'm going to add a two outlet box so that way I could have uh, multiple things plugged into it uh, for a 20 amp breaker. Um, you can see I had to cut into the sheetrock because I had to drill to get that up in there. Other methods are adding a chase or a what they call panduit, conduit type thing where you can mount it to the ball. Uh, then you end up painting it or whether, whatever. But it's, this is inside the house and at some point this is going to be a completely finished utility room. So I figure I might as well do this right the first time. Um, in order to get that up in there once I drilled the hole... Uh, what I ended up doing is using, believe it or not, coat hanger. Stick that up into the attic, and then you tie the other end with some cord. It needs to be good, strong cord because you're going to be pulling wire back through. Then when I crawled up into the attic, which is no fun, it's always hot, uh, even in the coolness of winter, unless it's really cold. Then I had this fiberglass rod tied to it or uh, with a, another coat hanger. I was able to reach it, pull it pull that wire through and get that up there. So then, of course, this, I made sure that the panel was closed at the time. Uh, there was already an access hole here that uh, I was able to fish up more coat hanger and from up top, um, once I got that wire up there, I actually attached uh, the, the appropriate wire, which in this case is a 12-2, um, for the 20 amp breaker uh, fished it up through made sure I was able to get it all the way up into the attic which is uh, up in there and once I fished that through I tied the end of the wire to this and basically pulled it through uh, that's, once I get everything exposed in the panel which I will open up the sheetrock here drill a hole across here this stud because there is a stud and then bring it back through and you can see in there there are some knockouts I can get that and wired in appropriately I did buy a new breaker to add to this panel which uh, there's plenty of space on this panel and I'm not adding uh, high appliances so it should be more than enough to handle what I'm gonna do so there you have it uh, at some point I'll have it all wired up uh, don't know if I'll show you that part because Nobody likes watching somebody else plug in appliances, but hey, that's what I'm 
I like doing. I like adding stuff, making it pretty nice. So, uh, any questions, comments, hey, hit me up. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, thank you for visiting.